is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Big show today. Um, hang on, guys. One second. I'm having some issues here. All right. Can you hear me? Okay. It is good to be back. Big show today. Um, <clears throat> we have Chocolatito versus uh, Estrada, the rematch, uh, coming up on Saturday, just three days from now. Uh, we're going to get into that. We're going to break that down. I went back and watched the first one. I have some thoughts. Uh, but before we get into all that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, wherever Quick Hits comes out you twice a day, uh, twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes a day, twice a day, just to keep you up to date, up to float on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, Ramon Gonzalez, a cho um, Chocolatito, and uh, a Gallo, Juan Francisco Estrada, uh, in the rematch, this is not just a fight for a, a two unified belts in the super flyweight division. Uh, this is much, much, much more than that. This is a, a fight for legacy. Um, both guys have had incredible Hall of Fame worthy careers at this point. And, and now the winner of this will be recognized and remembered, I would think, as the premier little man of this era. Um, if you remember, uh, Chocolatito beat Estrada um, several years ago. Uh, Gonzalez was, uh, Chocolatito was on that path to being a pound for pound great. Um, he was 46 and 0, and then he ran into Rungvisai and lost to him twice. And he's, but he's bounced back now. Um, and, and he's, he's, you know, he's all the way back. He looked incredible against Caliafe, uh, taking his belt. And Francisco Estrada has been, you know, one of the best fighters in the sport recently. You know, he beat Rungvisai, he beat Kudras again in, in epic fights. Um, so this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal fight. I went back and watched the first one. Okay. I have some thoughts on it. First, I want to get out in the open. I scored the first one, 115-113 for a Chocolatito. Uh, and in doing so, I had to score the last three rounds, which I think he deserved. I didn't give him any rounds. Um, I gave the last three rounds to Chocolatito. That's 10, 11, and 12. Um, I, I think there were three toss-up rounds. I think three, four, and eight were toss-up rounds. Um, I scored the third for uh, Francisco Estrada, uh, meaning that if you flip that round and give all the toss-up rounds to uh, a guy, all three toss-up rounds, you have a draw. Um, or you could flip the fourth and the eighth, give those to uh, Chocolatito, and, and, and then you have a pretty, you, know, you have a 117-111 type fight. So anything from a draw to 117-111 I thought was completely reasonable. I think that's where the scorecards were. Um... So, let's get into it. Um, most people are picking Estrada to win the rematch. And I, I, I'm not going to dispute that. I'll get into my prediction late. Um, but I'm going to get into first of what Estrada has to do to win the rematch. All right. He's a master of angles. So, he can't stand still. Um, he can't just let... He can't leave the front door open for Chocolatito to walk in. All right. So, he's got to keep throwing him angles, different angles. Uh, he's got to be in and out on him. In and out. Use angles. Pivot out. Um... He's got quicker feet. He's got quicker hands. Uh, different angles and don't stand in front of him. Um, it, it, <laughs> he needs to be less <laughs> fighting Gallo, right? He needs to be less of a, of, 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 of a, of a, of a rooster, right? Like he's got to be less Gallo. He's got to be less fighting Gallo and more moving, more of a mover, right? Like this is not the time to sit and trade. That's not going to get it done. Um, he needs to build up a lead early. Right, he needs to get ahead. And he needs to make Chocolatito kind of track him down and chase him down. Right? Um, he needs to, to maybe drop him, hurt him, but build up a lead on the scorecards. Because the, the body attack and the physical strength of Chocolatito is going to wear him down over time. You know, I think you get to the second half of the fight, 
you're in Chalk Latino's territory. Now you have to build up a lead big enough where you can survive the last few rounds. Um, because I don't think I, I don't think he's going to get him out. I, I don't think Chocolatito is, is shot. I don't think I think this is going to be an epic fight. Um, I think El Gallo can win, but he's got to get out to a lead on the scorecard. He's got to kind of front run in this fight. Um, which, it, depending on how you score, like if you scored all the early rounds for uh, Estrada in the first fight, you have it very close. If you split them up the close rounds, like I said, the third and the fourth, then you had Chocolatito wide. Um, you know, I think we're at a point where Estrada is peaking and Chocolatito's on a decline. And the first round was very close. So it's reasonable to think that Estrada can win this fight. Um, how does Chocolatito win? Second half of the equation. He's got to, he's got to cut the ring off. He's got to back him up. Whenever he's had success, it was on the inside, making Estrada go backwards, getting him in the corner, getting him in the ropes. Um, he needs to lead with that right hand. He needs to lead with the right hand, and he needs to land with the right hand. He needs to break down his body. He needs to wear him down. Um, he needs to slow him down, wear him down, and win the fight in the second half, whether that be by stoppage or whether it be, you know, a point. He, he may have to drop him. It's going to be tough for him to win enough rounds. I think he can do it, but he needs to stick to the game plan, and he needs to make this. He needs to make this a phone booth type of fight because the start is just too good in the angles. He's just too. Go- he's just too quick for him. Uh, you got to get, he's, it basically comes out of that. Can he wear down his body? Um, can he, can he land with the right, lead right hand? He's got the better jab, which he'll land. But can he lead, land that lead right hand, which will open up, which will back a guy up and open up the inside for him to do the work on the inside, which he has to do. He is so good and so crafty on the inside. If he can back a guy up. If he can get him against the ropes, get him going backwards, get him in the corner, he can win this fight. So there's a path to both guys to win this fight. And I think the judging is going to be very, very important. I'm going to look at some of the judges and probably do a show on that tomorrow. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in. You find it completely boring. But the judges are going to be important, right? Because you're going to have to weigh what El- uh, what uh, Chuck Latino is doing on the inside, right? You have to be a keen observer and keep an eye on that. Um... And you get the way they get Estrada's, what Estrada does in spots. I mean, if this is a phone booth fight, Chocolatito wins. And uh, having seen Estrada's last fight where he was fighting Kudras and he could have clearly outboxed him, but decided that this is two Mexicans going to war in Mexico, it's got to go down in a phone booth. It's got to be a war. Um, I, I think Chocolatito wins the fight. A very close, very controversial, very, very close, very competitive decision. On the inside, because Estrada just can't resist the urge. He's going to go to war with him eventually. And when he does, I think that flips it. And I think, you know, it's going to be Matt. I mean, you know, I, I do think El Gallo is going to win the early round. I just, it all, does Chuck Latino have enough rounds left that he can steal the fight in the second half? I'm going to say he does it just enough. So I'm taking, I'm going to say split decision. Chuck Latino, um, in, a, in a very close, somewhat controversial split decision victory. Um, over over Estrada. Uh, so we're going to get revenge. I mean, we're going to get a repeat. I'm sorry. We're going to get a repeat. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, predictions below. Let me know what you think of my commentary. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Smash the thumbs up button. Hit the bell icon to get notifications. It is March 10th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calder, another great little man, is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We need to make that change. Let's get uh, Iron Boy in the class 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.